awesome. I can never get enough of these uh, sunsets in here for the Lombag West. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. And now we're going to get back to the uh, our weaponized Tampa. So, yeah, I moved a little while ago and lost my internet for a little bit. So I've been gone for a little bit for a bunch of other reasons. Doesn't really matter here or there. <laughs> we're now going to continue on. So I think we'll uh, I'll probably show you guys me buying the... Um, uh, the weaponized Tampa because I managed to buy it just before the end of the last sale. I think it was a few weeks ago um, So I'll just show you that uh, me spending some more money and then we'll come back and uh, I've got that waiting over at the uh, Del Perro Del Perro Heights garage just around the corner. So we'll go grab that now All right, well, I'm going to my computer out of habit <laughs> a little lost today I don't need to do that. I'm just getting back after being away. I had to move and I'm in a much better place. Yeah, hopefully my voice isn't too echoey because I still have to get some more uh, stuff up on the walls and things like that so this room doesn't quite seem like it sounds like a bathroom <laughs> or something. I mean, I'm recording from a closet. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Well, so today we're going to order that classic Tampa and you find that under War Stock and Cash and Carry, which is why I have the War Stock Cash and Carry uh, shirt on today. Why not? So, it's normally, uh, let's see here, $2.1 million, just over. And if you do the mission first, it brings it down to $1.5 million and $85,000. Right, so it's well worth doing that. And today, I'm doing this at the moment, like at the end of the night, as usual, as I've done before. <laughs> because I just got my internet back up and running, and they're probably going to change to the new sales any minute now. But uh, at the moment, the Tampa is 40% off. So that gets me just a little bit more off, so why not? So it's 951000 and that's uh, normally one5 So lots of savings today for this one, for me. Hopefully you guys can get something like that. They have ran a few uh, sales on the Tampa, the weaponized Tampa, so hopefully you guys will get the chance too. Yeah, back in the 60s, a heavy muscle car with a reinforced frame seemed like a great idea because of all the drunk driving you needed to do. <laughs> Still, perfect though it seemed, part of you whispered the car was missing something. And trust us, when you see that sturdy foundation supporting a top-mounted minigun, the final piece of the jigsaw is going to slot right into place. <laughs> Throw in some industrial-grade armor, and the Tampa will finally have achieved its full potential. Yeah. So you definitely want to armor it up, but that said, it only helps it a little bit. Unfortunately, it can't take too many explosions, but otherwise, it is a very uh, uh, awesome vehicle, and a lot of people really like it. I really enjoyed using it in the mission. That was a lot of fun, in the uh, mole hunt mission that you do to unlock the better price. All right, let's buy it. All right, we'll bring it to Del Perro Heights. Then I think I might bring it to the uh, facility and we'll put it in our Avenger, I think. But I usually buy things to Del Perro Heights. We'll send it there. Thank you, thank you, or it's not guys and Gary. <laughs> 951,000, not bad. Hey, I just got an alert telling me you bought a weaponized vehicle. Yeah. You know you can take it into your mobile ops center to get modified? Yeah. We got this saying at work, the only thing that beats heavily armed bad guys is lots more heavily armed bad guys in trucks. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I've always heard too. <laughs> yeah, so as you're saying, you can take it inside your mobile operations center, center truck here, or nowadays you can also take it inside your Avenger if you have one too. The Avenger plane that you can buy with the facility. The Doomsday facility. <laughs> Alright, well let's head over to uh, the uh, Del Perro apartments and go grab that uh, weaponized Tampa. We can give it a try in stock. Before we upgrade it. All right, so here we are. The Del Perro Heart Pites Apartments. All right, let's go get our new weaponized Tampa. So one good thing about it compared to something like the uh, Duke of Death is that um, you can save ammo. So that's uh, free ammo in most vehicles. Um, many of the uh, different weapons in many of the vehicles are unlimited. So uh, I can save you money. And even the ones that are limited, as soon as you go back in your garage or whatnot and come back out, they're usually replenished. So it saves you money in the long run, I guess you could say, compared to using your own weaponry. There she is. Woohoo. All right. This is the first time I've been in here to see it. I ordered it uh, and I did not check it out. I wanted to. <laughs> nice. All right. To decide what colors to give it. And the weaponized Tampa. So I've been looking forward to this one for a while, and uh, just kept on eluding me as far as the timing goes. But not today. The classy weaponized Tampa muzzle. <laughs> it 
Let's take it out. Might be early morning soon. It's all regular lighting. Looks like we've got fixed minigun right now. Oh yeah, as the base uh, default. So it doesn't look like I can turn the uh, turret at all. Just simply shoot ahead. Love your ride, hon. Yeah. <laughs> but that's still kind of cool. So as a default vehicle, it's just a basic uh, kind of muscle car. Not bad though, it's got some go. Yep. And the uh, fixed minigun. That's your only weapon. Without unlocks. So I guess you kind of do want a, a bunker for some of the unlocks, I suppose. That's for sure. Yeah. So maybe we'll call in my Avenger. Because I don't think we've done any vehicles inside the Avenger yet. I don't think. Where will I put it? Over? Behind me? Probably behind me. Yep, behind me. Of course. <laughs> Alright, let's head over there. I think I know the little spot I would put it in. Oh no, it's in a different spot today. I don't think I've had it to show up here yet. Lots of little spots around the city. Yeah. There's our Avenger. I gave it a paint job a little while ago. Had the uh, the snow camo, the uh, the air cow, <laughs> and I did like that. But uh, I changed it uh, now that we're long past the holiday season to the green there, green digital. All right, let's head in. Yeah, I think this is the first vehicle I've done here. Hello. Patch seems to have made things a little bit slower when you're inside. There we go. Yeah. I could take off into the air, but I guess that's not necessary. <laughs> so let's get it armored up. Now, unfortunately, it is not very uh, explosive resistant. Generally, one explosion directly will take it out from many things, but this helps to get the armor impression. Or the armor increased. Yep, 50,000. Armor plating, this also helps as well. And you can leave it off if you don't want the look of it. Like chassis armor, medium chassis armor, and heavy chassis armor. Hmm. Now we'll go for the heavy, 15,000. You can always change your mind pretty cheaply anyway for that stuff. Brakes, and thankfully this is all on sale for the next little while. For uh, I think it's 25% off for all these, uh, for a bunch of different uh, car parts right now. So we got a race brakes for on sale for twenty-six thousand. And the engine. Level four for twenty-five thousand. Outrun a damn bullet. <laughs> Outrun a bullet. Well, that'd be nice. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Alright, hood. Lightly armored hood. Medium armored hood. Heavy armored hood. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it makes any difference. I don't think so. I think it's just show for a lot of this stuff. But, you know, it is going to be a weaponized vehicle, so why not put the heavy armored on there anyway? Why not? I guess. It goes with the rest of the armor blading anyway. And we could take it off pretty cheap anyway. So that's 8,000 for that. Don't need a horn. Does it give us any options in here? No. no just the regular stuff. Lights. Give it the Xenon lights, 7,500. Neon kits, huh. Give it, you can give it neon kits for that. Well, don't know if I want a neon kit for it. Give it green or something. <laughs> All right, lots of libraries. Lots and lots of libraries. So I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. See if we can change our plate. Missing sock, there we go. Yeah, I thought so, beautiful. Yellow on black like that a little bit better. Proximity Mines. That's the one I'm not really sure about. <laughs> Proximity Mines changes your horn to being a uh, mine. And I think I might do it, but I think I'm going to kill myself a few times, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. And it's 99,000 too. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll get it. 
but I got a feeling I'm going to regret that here and there. <laughs> All right, we'll lower that suspension and suspension down to competition competition suspension for 3,300. You never know. Transmission, race transmission for 30,000. Tuned up and ready to go. That's on sale too. Turbo for 37,500. Gonna have a real kick on it now. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Weapons. Mm. Interesting. Windows. Let's get some tint. There we go. Some limo tint. Five grand. All right. Weapons. What do we got? Missile launcher, mortar, and minigun. All right. Well, we're going to do the mortar, definitely. Rear firing mortar. 92,500. Hmm. Wow. How could you not have a mortar? <laughs> I guess it's totally, I think for the most part, it's fairly useless, but, you know, fun. Well, it's not completely useless, though. If you catch people at the right spot, it'll blow them up well enough, I suppose. All right, missile launcher. Front missile launcher. It actually shows up too, takes over the front. Hmm. And that's 85,000. So not a cheap weapon. Let's see him rushing now. All right, and the minigun, custom miniguns. Dual remote minigun. All right, and yeah, we did have to unlock that via the bunker research. Probably one of the best unlocks, or one of the better unlocks for the uh, for the bunker. So unfortunately, you can't just pick it. You have to go through randomly through them. So that one is 100,000. <laughs> that definitely increases the price a little bit more. Dual remote minigun. It's old. Just what you need against a crowd. Yeah, exactly. And a whole lot of other things, too. <laughs> All right, wheels. Hmm, not sure about wheels yet. Wheel color? No, let's get a wheel first. Eh, probably going to do muscle, yeah. And I might paint it, so I guess we'll keep it stock instead of chrome. Doesn't give you very good views in the Avenger. It's all right in here. It's a, seems a little laggy, though, since the patch. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. But you don't really get good views, though, that's for sure. This is like as good as it gets, really. <laughs> I can zoom in and stuff, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah lots of good rims in there. Muscle Freak might even be good on that, but I think it might even go with something like the Mercenary. Yeah. Don't know why. Just kind of like it right now. Looks mean enough, I guess. Yeah, Mercenary, 12,580. Why not? It's old. All right. Wheel color. I'll wait on that for just a minute, I suppose. Because I'm not sure what my other cars will, uh, colors will be. Bulletproof tires. 18,750. They're on sale as well. It's too bad those don't come by default. They really should. Mm, tires won't just black. Mm, look at that. <laughs> All right, now we'll probably paint that, but first let's decide on the colors. So let's go back to our library. All right, basic ammo. Really wish it would give me a different view on these. It's too bad you can't just change to that mortar view that it gave us earlier. And I know if you go back and forth in the options, it'll eventually give you different views, but it's such a pain in the butt to get it to work. I actually kind of like that basic camel. It's in Kudo camel. Sprayed camel. Oh, yeah. Very uh, road warrior <laughs> with color. Three color outline. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have left the trunk default for some of these. 90 sandbox. Modern five color. Arid Theater. That's not bad. Winter Camel. More Winter Camel, like I was saying earlier. <laughs> Urban Warrior. Alright. Nature Reserve. Naval Battle. And these are ones from the Bunker Property Unlocks. Urban Geometric. Coyote Geometric. Large Geometric. Naval Geometric, that's different. Desert Fractal. And Urban Fractal. Large Digital. Medium Digital. Lots of them, lots of choices. Small Digital. Hmm. And that's the end. And then you've just got basic, no, no paint job. I'm actually thinking about that Naval. Don't know why. Just kind of think that's a little funky, a little different. 
It's only 28,500. <laughs> so old. All right. Now, respray. So we got a primary color and a secondary in the crew. No trim or anything. Just wanted to see the different options. Yeah, so it's already set with the uh, library. Oh no, no, the Desert Tan I think was the default that was already there. So I'll we'll always set it as now. Mm. Good classic, we probably should, oh yeah, no, we're already on matte. I was gonna say we should probably be on matte paint job instead of something shiny, I think. Blue, that's kind of funky, but I don't think so. <laughs> but it's actually kind of, kind of different. Red's not bad. Dark red, regular red. Orange. I like the looks of that stuff, but it's almost like attracting gunshots to you <laughs> instead of repelling them, you know. It makes it easier to see you, but at the same time, like put camo on so I can be seen, right? <laughs> but it does look different. It does look sharp. I don't know why I think that, but I do. In the green, that definitely looks very uh, military. Yeah, forest green too. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I do like those forest greens and whatnot. I think I might go with something like that in the future. I might go with the orange for now, just to be different. Although I don't know if I'd really recommend it. <laughs> well, only 14,000. Wow, expensive for those colors, I guess. All right, so let's see what the secondary color is all about. Oh, that's cool. So that's actually the minigun itself. Yeah. And the uh, front weapons. Yeah, some highlights on the back mortar as well. It's not too many things changing, with, but it, but some. So, what will we do use that for? So we could use it with orange again. I think that's a lot of orange. All right, now it's on like a gray. It's not too bad. Can't even tell it's chrome. Huh. So that's what's on dark steel. Yep, I think I might go with just a simple black. Probably that black. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. There we go. That black. One thousand. At least that one's cheap. <laughs> Work of art. Well, that's that's good. That's what I think too. Well, I might change the uh, paint job again in the future, but that's fun for now. Okay, so one last little tiny thing, and that's uh, to paint our wheels. I was probably thinking about black, because that always looks mean. I just want to see what the orange or something looks like for a second. I think you could always do the green if I had left a green earlier. Something like the yellow actually would probably go to. Every gold, bright orange. Orange. Not really a matching orange, though. I think I might just go with the black. Yeah. Black. Just there we go. right. Just right. <laughs> and I think I'm going to actually leave off the tire enhancements on this one. I already got it uh, uh, some smoke, and I already got it bulletproof, but I don't think it needs the words on this one. All right. So should we take it outside? I think we should. We could walk around inside the plane, but we'll just take it right out. Exit the Avenger Vehicle Workshop. Oh, I just ranked up. For what? That was strange. Took to a complete mod of vehicle at a car mod shop. Daily duty for 800. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Huh. Hmm. Said out. Alright, there she is. Oh, I do like that. 
which definitely looks like something mean. <laughs> I wonder what the payout for 20000 for it was all about, though. Did I really, did I accomplish all the daily duties just by doing that? Let's check my daily objectives. Bought a vehicle. Don't know what it paid me 20000 for. Hmm. Well, well, I'll have to look it up. All right, so we got missiles. We got rear mortar. Dual minigun. Oh, I guess we have no, uh, I guess it has no homing. Hmm. Very cool. And now our minigun's turn. Very awesome. And one of the main reasons you might want a bunker after all. Which is a good money maker, by the way. But it's a pain going through all the research. Say I hadn't shot yet, but they were screaming already. But I guess the moment you press it, they start turning. It freaks people out. Yeah, see, that's got a nice little muscle car crackle to it. Very cool. All right. Now, and we'll press the horn and make sure we keep on moving with it this time. <laughs> That's insane! Uh, so apparently it does set them off. You can't uh, stealth drop them off. They do see it as a weapon. But we'll see if that person sets it off anyway. I think she will. It seems like only when you uh, actually drop them that it affects people. As long as uh, like the other people showing up afterwards or whatnot, they don't seem to notice it. And she is sitting in her car, unaware. Boom! <laughs> and that's that. Alright, well I was going to load up uh, Trash Talk or something like that, guys, to show you guys, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think you guys can see the idea. This thing can do a lot of damage to a lot of things. We already played Mole Hunt, too. Um, yeah, so it's definitely a very, very good vehicle to have. Yeah, it makes short work of just about anything. But again, it's not exactly a, uh, a player killer too much, being that it doesn't have a good, good uh, uh, explosive resilience. Wow. Yeah. Those, uh, those miniguns are just crazy. Yeah. Dual remote controlled miniguns. So you can do it, drive it, and use it solo, which is really nice. I used to think that you needed two players for this, so now I really, uh, I would have gotten it way back when it first came out had I realized that, nope, you can do it all on your own. As long as you have the research. And the guns, as you guys can tell, are pretty, actually, pretty powerful. Um, you know, you almost get no chance to shoot them before you've blown up the whole car. Uh, but it only shoots up so much, though. Oh, almost enough, though. That's the wrong one. That's the guy we've been shooting earlier. Really. <laughs> see if we can get a few of them around us here. Gather up, covers. Fortunately, no bullet resistant glass. Oh, no, Never getting any quite good there. That's alright. definitely recommend using the guns instead of this. But, a 
apparently you can do some good damage with just the, uh, the proximity mines and the mortar. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, left them a little present with my death there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely two thumbs up. Love that vehicle. Gonna have a lot of fun with that, I think. Yeah, so definitely recommend that. The glassy weaponized Tampa. There's a regular portion there, the Comet. Regular Comet, I'm gonna have to get one of the Comet SRs too. That seems like a fun vehicle too. Hmm. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy checking out the uh, the glassy weaponized Tampa. Um, like I said, you guys can use it for a lot of things. Uh, maybe I'll use it for some upcoming uh, uh, missions and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, do I still have the car? Do I probably have to call Moore's, don't I? Let's see. Mm. Morris. Morse Mutual, we're here to help. Weaponized Tampa for 9,510. 9, Not bad. I think we can do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was thinking All right. about you, too. Want to know what I'm wearing now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. Take care, everybody. See you next time. I think I might get, uh, I don't know what I'm going to get out next. Something else. Something new. Maybe the hot ring razor. Hmm. Not sure. <laughs>